I'm sure 99.9% of the people listening to the podcast, watching the podcast will know who Grant is. If you don't know who Grant Horvath is, he was in Good Good, he's now on his own, killing it on YouTube. We spent a lot of time filming with him and he is a very, very good golfer. Well, he was on the podcast. Of course he was. Oh, but four weeks ago. Of course so. he was. So most people will know him, yeah. I imagine. If you don't, that's who he is. And, you know, we've seen a lot of him play golf many a time. He's one of those golfers just really, really solid. So you knew to beat him in a match play. And although these games are fun, there's great camaraderie on and off camera, nobody wants to lose a game of golf. You certainly did not want to lose to him. And if you did lose, you wanted to be a, a tight loss. Yeah. Down 18, down 17. When we um, teased the video was coming, the overwhelming majority of people, and, and we must admit, probably rightly so, we're in the camp of Grant because your game hasn't been trending as good as it has been. And to beat Grant Horvat, you need to be firing at all cylinders. Do you know what the catalyst for all of this hard work and <laughs> dedication and not genuinely in the last few weeks and months has been like, there's been a catalyst. And when I remind you, you'll, you'll know unless you do remember. I don't. Before Grant came over mm -hmm. to the UK. Oh, I do know this. Sorry. And, me and Grant and Guy, we were, we were chatting and having having uh, messages between each other around about what videos are we going to do. Yeah. And, and it was natural. We were going to shoot a couple of scramble videos. We're going to have a couple of little fun games, this, that, and the other. And Grant proposed an idea. Mm. Like, let me, I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to bring it up, Guy. Do you think that's the, the, that's I the right thing to do? I think you should absolutely bring it up. Because this, this message, this right here is the the main reason right now why I'm working as hard as I ever, ever, ever have done on my game. You know what? I'm going to thank him. Thanks, I'm going to put, this is going to be a clip on YouTube, a podcast clip, and it's going to be titled by Grant Horvath, angered Rick Shields. And I think he woke the beast. He, he, he poked the bear. The bear got absolutely poked. And the bear didn't want to be poked. I can't <laughs> find the message now. Anyway, we, we were back and forth with, with ideas. And Grant propose an idea to me mm, okay. so this was going to be for his channel for his channel yes he said let's do a match you against me i was like okay great sounds sounds perfect <laughs> yes where i grant tee off the bat tees yeah the championship tees the tiger tees so grant good play is off the bat tees played against rick shields rick goes off the same tees i presume he wanted me he proposed <laughs> that I went off the front tees. Wow. Wow. And that, that flicked a switch. What would we say in terms of distance, depending on the golf course, 1,000, 1, 1, 1,500 yards difference, potentially? He flicked the switch that he didn't want to flick. Wow. And, and you know what? That, that, that pushed me. And I'm glad it did because I, I sat there. I was at home. I remember getting the text and I sat there and it took me a minute. I was like, is it has it gone that bad? These kids these days. Has my has my golf game gone so terribly bad that Grant, granted, very good player, yep. thinks that I need to play off the front tees to have a chance of beating him. Wow. So I didn't take lightly to the message. No. I actually responded with with quite a lot of sarcasm and and notable anger and that video idea never got mentioned again no. rightly so and so i was like right that's it me versus grant i'm gonna have your 18 holes match play off the same bloody tease and that's why i genuinely went into that match <laughs> with like a different mindset and then the only other thing what grant didn't realize dealing with rick shields the worldwide golf youtube superstar we've got fans in places all over the world. So when he got to Manchester Airport with his golf clubs, we made sure those clubs did not arrive <laughs> safely. He did not get his own golf clubs. There was no chance I was going to lose that match. But yeah, <laughs> it was, uh, it, it definitely frustrated me. It definitely sparked something in me to go, right, Rick. It, I looked at harder myself in the mirror that afternoon. I was like, you're better than this, Rick. So <laughs> since that, I've been grinding. I've, I don't think I've ever hit as many golf balls in my life as I have done over the last six weeks. A uh, huge shout out to James Robinson, friend of the channel, who uh, just before the Grant week, I went out and played nine holes with him just to kind of, I hadn't played golf for a little while. I'd been in for a little minor op and I would needed, needed a bit of practice. And we went out for nine holes and, and obviously James, an unbelievable golfer. And, uh, as we were about third or fourth hole, he said, I hit one out of bounds to the right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he went, 
can I give you some tips? I was like, of course you can. And and I'm always open to mm-hmm. tips from golf professionals. I have coached in the past, either from Dan Whitaker or other people. And James went, you know, at the moment, your takeaway is looking quite open. I was like, yeah, it is something I'm always fighting against. He said, what about, what would happen if you did close it? I went, all right, just go straight left. And he went, right, well, hit it and see if you can, see if you can do the opposite. Instead of going open to closed, can you go closed to open? And a couple of first tee shots weren't great, but then I kind of got going. I said, oh, going into this week with Grant, I don't know if I should make a swing change. I think this is quite risky. And he looked at me square in the face <laughs> and he said, are you playing good golf at the moment? I said, no. He said, what does it matter then? I was like, fair dues. Sometimes said, those simple statements hit the hardest. It was the fact that Grant wanted me to tee off the ladies tee, or the front tee, should I say, to try and beat him. And he did actually also mention I should maybe playing ladies attire but apart from that <laughs> it was also james looked at me straight in the face and went are you playing good golf at the moment i said no he said well let's make some changes good advice for everyone listening and, and I since think- that the, the grant week i did play really solid yeah i hit the ball really well as you did at the belfry video Thank you. but then going into that match with grant at dunham forest i was like i'm taking you down and uh, since that sorry the golf uh, has been much much better the videos that are coming out this week my golf is much better. I'm hitting the golf ball outrageously better. I've, I, I don't think I've seen as much improvement in such a short period of time. I think that's the thing. Everyone listening, watching knows golf is a hard sport. You're never, ever going to conquer golf. And we all know the reason it's so addictive is you probably play badly eight out of 10 times. And there's two where you play well. That's why you come back. You obviously are a PJ golf professional. You turn pro off three, four handicap. And obviously you've been a golf coach and a YouTube creator. And contrary to what people obviously think, you don't play as much as people think and you don't practice certainly as much as you probably should do because of obviously family equipment and having a business, et cetera, et cetera. And we've always been honest with the videos. If you play a bad round of golf, we put that out there. People often quite like it because it makes them realise that everybody has a bad day. As long as you can keep a smile on your face, it makes for entertaining viewing. However, and there's the caveat, when it starts to go bad, where you start to kind of lose confidence and you don't enjoy the filming quite as much as you would do playing well, which comes naturally, obviously, It doesn't always make for the best videos. And like you said, if you've got people who you think genuinely should have a a somewhat competitive match with, and and this wasn't Grant being kind of cocky, but genuinely thinking there has to be some level of handicap system in there to make it a good match. I'm not surprised it rattled, it got you going. And and what was really exciting was not only the result, yeah, you won, that was brilliant, but like the comments on the video as well. And thanks so much to everyone that has watched the video and commented. But one here I'm just looking at, annoyingly the person's name is a bit of like a random one. It's Mr. B. Oh, whatever. It's like numbers. But basically he said, and it's had 741 likes his comment. Best Rick has played in years. Barely any mistakes over 18 holes. And that's the level you need to play to, to beat someone like Grant. Well played. Yeah, no, it, it was good. It was, it was solid, solid golf. And as much as it wasn't like I shot six or seven under, which I do genuinely feel is, is in there somewhere. It has been in there in the past. It was the fact it was under pressure. I had to hit good shots and I did. Uh, t- one funny comment though, because I took a screenshot of it because I wanted to talk about it on the podcast. Uh, Dan Penn won, however, mm-hmm. totally disagrees. Okay. This had to be scripted. Ah, God. Grant's approach on the 18th was a farce and his chip was laughable. Even with that terrible approach, the chip was an easy up and down. So basically, he thinks that Grant was was paid off. He threw the match. Was that message from Dan Penis, did you say? <laughs> Dan, <laughs> Dan Ben won. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that could be a mark. Why don't we get into that he scripting? Took that, he took that backswing on the chip before he'd even hit the ball. I was already shaking my head i guess we'll have to look forward to the rematch now yawny face yawny face you know what i don't get right i understand <laughs> that everyone has got the right to either enjoy our content or anyone else's content or not enjoy it that's fine and you can either watch or not watch and also i would admit i've done this myself everyone has little guilty pleasures of channels that actually on paper you don't like but you can't stop watching that's fair whether that be music as well or whatever but to go to the extent of watching the game, watching the match. All the way to the 18th. In, in its entirety, to leave a negative comment like that, you've got to be thinking these people, some of these people are a bit... Mm. How, 
how can that be scripted? <laughs> it's like, that would it be was good, dramatic. Though. Don't get me wrong. And it couldn't have gone any better. We can't script but, that. But would he then say, if Grant had have beat you five and four, he wouldn't then be saying, no, it's scripted, was he? Yeah. So it's like, you can't have your cake and eat it. But anyway. 99.999% anyway, of the comments were very, very positive. Talking about how it was good to see me back in the, back in the, in the, in the seat, back in the driving seat and hitting the ball well. Um, Changes are coming. 